And it's going. We are going. We are live. We are so, oh, so live. Maybe here. Maybe here. Oh, I, I got to. Oof. I was doing stuff and then I looked and I was like, oh my God, it's. I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I sure as heck will find out soon. Sometimes things don't go the way that I think I want them to. That's okay, I won't give up. Just gotta find a new path, cause I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I sure as I can find out soon. What are we working on today? Whoa. The big answer to the uh, thumbnail? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we can't make that one move. I mean, I guess we could. But we, let, we got a lot of good ideas from this, right? Like having the muzzle be uh, above the head layer, having the ears be in the switch comps. But we would really, we really need them to be attached not so stupid and then the body doing this and it's got a little perspective to it and stuff but we want the body we want the body to be a little more separated uh and tapered differently instead of tapering down to the shoulders and then a big boot a big butt we are going to have it be the hips are smaller, dog hips are smaller. I don't know, it's not a, I'm, what is with me talking today? <laughs> I can't do it. I know it's not a real dog, it's a toy dog, but dog hips are smaller than their broad shoulders in a lot of these terrier breeds that we're basing our toy dog after. Um, and we're going to separate the chest and the hips as well. This is going to be such a messy file until we clean it up. Hello? I didn't click on you. I literally, I clicked on you. Well, you know that you're clicking the right spot if the blue box is around it. And I don't pay attention all the time to that. So <laughs> that's that on that, I guess. I can draw good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm spending more time drawing the water than I am getting the water. I now have my water. I now have some water. I now have some water. <laughs> We don't need the stroke. I'm trying to decide between the eyes. I think we're gonna go with this eye probably because it goes better with Geraldine. Geraldine has those kind of like pin eyes. Oh, I'm trying to draw on this antique with a pencil. This is like Geraldine from the side. Like they're, they're like that. And you put the red here and then you can secure it into the eye. That's what Geraldine's eyes are. And I'm wondering if it would be fun if Samson also had the same kind of eye, or if he should have a button eye. The button eye, it looks like it has a lot of detail. Also, I want to make the nose way wider. Yeah, that's cuter. The head is to the size of Geraldine, so maybe we keep that. I'm really not sure about the button. Let's see about the eyebrow as well. Yesterday's stream was so much fun. It was great. But it'd be cool if like when his face scrunched or something, the eyebrows would activate. Yeah, the button is kind of weird. I'm not really feeling it. I think we should go with this eye. I do like it in general as a button. Maybe we'll update Geraldine's button. Yeah, the button eye is too much. And then we can just have a face control and have these like rotate. Let's see what like, oh no, no, no. I want you to scale. Yeah, just like a little bit. That feels a little better. Maybe we can use this button um, like on his clothes. And we're gonna make it like lighter. Alt. We're gonna butt cap that. A round cap. I always say butt because this looks like a butt, but this is a butting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why that's called a butt, butt capper. Let's make these curves be less horrible to each other. There we go. <laughs> 
In order to have a nice curve, you want to have the little bendy parts be looking at each other. Um, also, the stroke is really thick. What if we did like a this, had it rotate on the corner, a little wispy. If we, Maybe if we want whiskers or something, we could do that. In order to do these, I think I want to make a polygon again. Do this, match it to here. Well, it's still here. The path, we're gonna round it. And now we're gonna change that. Okay, so I can see what's going on. I'm gonna take the pen tool and we're gonna strategically release some of the corners. Hello? Oh, 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 sorry. We have to change it into Bezier path. Right click, convert to Bezier path. I was like, where are I? Ah. And then we get kind of this shape. We want this to be more here and probably for it to be more rounded. And then this one, we're gonna take to like here-ish maybe? Yeah. Lines. And we're gonna turn off the fill and turn on the stroke. We're gonna make sure that the stroke, maybe not bright white. I do want the whiskers to be under the nose. I spent a long time on that nose shape. I want this to be rounder. And we'll just adjust the shape from there. Another whisker line. Don't do that. I just want to move it. Thank you. Ah, it's gonna try to close it off every single time. You can put two on one side and then three on the other. It's gonna be really helpful for us to do drawovers on this as well. You can add a stroke. And then we can add a trim paths and that should take away the entire whisker. Of course, of course. Why would I add a stroke when I had one? What the hell? Oh, 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 there we go. This will be the fill and this will be the stroke. Uh, so stroke is hidden and then the fill is hidden on this one. And we just have the stroke and this is the one where we add the trim paths to. Now we want it there. And then also we want to do a round cap on everything. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Whisker R, we duplicate that. We say whisker L, and then we put that on a place and we do something with that. Hello, emojis. Thank you. I need to, I'm feeling like drained. I need to take some water sips. <laughs> My goodness, what are we working on today? Um, we've made the head about the same size as Geraldine, so it'll be comparable. I'm gonna use the pan behind tool to make sure that it scales at the place that I want it to. It's been negative 73. Perfect. Perfect. It's too perfect. We gotta we gotta mess it up a little bit. We we gotta mess it up. Where should this go? Maybe a little one? Could be longer and coming out of here. I'm so bad with making things, I make things like really evenly spaced. Oh, this looks awkward. Oh, okay. I like that actually a little bit off. Oh, start, not the taper. Yeah, trim pads. Ah. Also these colors are not final at all or anything like that. We're just playing around. I tried it with the wispies. I don't know about them. Chin hairs or something. Just a lot to animate. <laughs> but I like the shape, so I'm just... I might keep it. I'm gonna keep it in the clothes and such. I also tried the button eye. It's not working out. So we're keeping it as a button on the sweater attempt at testing for the first version. We need to make that side look a little different. We can also do that in draw over. Yeah, let's move on. So this all is the muzzle. What do I want? What do you want, Paul? Let's label these correctly. Something that I really like about After Effects is that you can just uh, do control and up and down on the arrow keys. And then uh, it's so easy to relabel. Uh, R. Okay, so these are with the muzzle, the way that it works in this one, in the first one, we have it like attached out here. I just put an eyeglass on to see what it would be like. 
I think also we should put these lines in the eyebrows if we're going to do that. But is that too much texture? It's fine. I did a little side thing. The other thing is the body. Hold on. We're just going to duplicate the head and do a little test. We're going to do a little test. The butt. This is how we build a joystick. Sliders and joysticks. And then it has a little tab where you can do sliders and joysticks. It's amazing. We're going to keyframe any properties that we would like to be different at the different angles. You can hover over this button and it'll tell you everything, which is so nice because I always forget. I didn't know this was here for a little bit. So I kept writing, like looking it up and writing down on my screen. F-R-L-U-D. <laughs> you can paste origin. This is also really nice. If you have a layer selected, it will paste the first key that you've laid down. It's very nice. Uh, and if, if the joystick itself is moved to the right, then I would want the body to be angled to the right. So we will move the hips this way. Obviously, we're going to need some like different shape stuff and everything too. Um, let's also do a tail. Rectangle, round it out, come to the rectangle path. We'll make it a little round. It's got a tail. Delete that. Nobody needs that. All right, so he's standing regular and the tail is behind the hips. Why are the hips in front of the chest? I don't know. It's not how it goes. Also, all of this should be behind the head. Oh, I said behind the head. Thank you. So tail, P also. This looks terrible. We're just seeing what we would need for it to actually work. And then you just come here and you select all the layers and you hit paste origin and it just brings everything back. So then if the joystick for body angle is facing left, we want this. This is not too unreasonable. How do we do the hips? So we put this here up. Yeah, let's go up. Kind of make it look 3D. Let's make the hips a little different color so we can tell the difference. And then also you, tail in the head. So we can tell the difference between all of it. Also, Double click and you get a shape layer that fills up the whole screen. It's really great for making perfect circles um, if you go to a square composition. Anyway, I read my junior year yearbook. I think this side is more successful than this side. Somebody wrote, he was the new kid at the school at the time and it said, thank you for, you were like the first person to talk to me or whatever. And then he said, I always liked how uh, you would just stop talking and sit and stare. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> like, dang. How do people think I don't have ADHD? That's crazy. I think we would definitely include the head in this if we were to do it more for real. And then we're gonna select these layers and we are going to actually click the create joystick and then we're gonna label it. I always like to put underscore control so I can easily identify everything. The body angle. Man, imagine this with the head. Wait, hold on. Um, you can also um, select the controller or the origin and um, unbind. Let's make sure that everything is attached. So we're gonna pick whip. It's like parenting uh, that it's attached to the head. Um, and we would have a separate head angle, but I think the head needs to be position moving with everything as well, because otherwise it looks really weird. Paste origin. Just move up. Oh, and this is something that we would also be doing drawovers for. I really like rigging in After Effects. It feels very intuitive to me. We've already made the controller. We just need to hit bind with the properties out. Uh, what the heck? I said with the properties out. <laughs> there we go. Now we have our little dog that looks kind of like he's moving in 3D but it's really messed up. <laughs> I mean, obviously if you take the square outside of where it's supposed to be, they're kind of messed up. Yeah. If there's a plugin for it, you can do it natively in After Effects itself. It just takes longer. Do It Basil is free. 
it is a plugin and it also has it has its own version of yeah like sliders and all this kind of stuff you can do i'm digging this how do, wait it's 5 p.m i feel like i didn't do that much that's okay he's so excited he looks like a seal right now i think we need like a torso connector another shape layer that just changes between these honestly we don't need to foreshorten the chest we can just move the legs i really want to move the legs with the body angle but that means i can't use rubber hose so i am very interested into how we'll be doing that now we just have to get all the proportions and everything too oh this was actually like better than i thought but the next thing would be the ears i think the ears are going to be really really important for like when he turns his head if we keep the head shape the same and if we're gonna do the thing that we did with Geraldine where her face parts are in a comp behind so we can do the bulge thing and make it feel more rounded and not have to have another joystick slider which is kind of expensive we're gonna have to connect the eyebrows face parts to the body controller out here which is easy it's fine we just got to remember to do that so we can have expressions for the eyebrows which side of the whiskers do we like better? Like this one where it seems all more stiff or like this side where there's stuff coming off? The right side where it points this one? Okay, cool. Little baby steps. If Even if I do baby steps every single day, then things actually get done rather than not getting done. Oh, why did this mess up too? We'll fix that. Yeah, one step at a time. We're making it. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye, bye, bye. End. <laughs>